The biggest challenge was being away from the kids. That was the biggest thing, but then I started realizing that I needed this help in order to be a family, to be there for them, because I was sitting in a room most of the time and the kids were always doing their own thing, so it, it feels good. There he is. Hey, buddy. That was cool. I've been sober since the 26th of February. Yep. For Ethan Isaac's sake, don't throw away an opportunity. The walk home, it was cold. My coat didn't buckle up. Like, it was horrible. Walking down the street, saw my dad drive by and my little sister drive by and stuff. And yeah, it just made me think, you know, like what the hell did I get myself into and how the hell am I gonna get myself out of it? I sat in my room for about two days, wondering what the hell was going on. Had trouble falling asleep at night, wondering, you know, how Lise was doing, what the boys were up to, yeah. I figured it was time to quit, and that was the end of it. I quit cold turkey and it was easy as hell. Personally, I feel healthier. You don't realize it when you're in addiction, like what you're not doing. And now we do all these things, we go to the movies with the kids, more involved with their school stuff. We come out, we have bonfires with them at night. Grab onto the chains up high, high as you can reach. Yeah, and now jump and bend your arms. Things that me and Wes never did together, we're all doing it together now as a family. It's good. Be careful, buddy. Well, I didn't see myself being that bad until I actually saw the episode and then realized, like, oh my God, that's how I was? That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. week after I got back from treatment. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, things actually did look up for us for once. You don't see what the addiction does to you. It opened my eyes, though, to know where I don't want to go. Never give up. Always know that tomorrow is going to be there. Like you can tell yourself, oh no, I'm addicted. I'll never be able to climb out of the rut. Yeah, right, there's always a way out of the rut. There's always someone that's gonna give you a rope to climb up with. There are people out there that do love you. You know, nobody out there is alone. Do something because crack isn't worth it. I'm happy for the intervention. <laughs>